Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Mira Hayu. With register number is A121 2090. In this session, our first material about the psycholinguistic by George Miller. According to George, the interest in psycholinguistic is not confined to psychologists and linguistics. Many people have been stirred by splendid vision of its practical possibilities. We know someone thinks of medical application to the diagnosis and treatment of a heterogeneous variety of language disorders ranging from simple stammering to the overwhelming complexities of apicia and then probably someone thinks to of pedagogical application of potential improvement in our methods for teaching reading writing or for teaching second languages we must understand that the integration of psycholinguistic studies has acts occurred so recently that there is still some confusion concerning its scope and purpose. Efforts to clearly it necessarily have something of the character of personal opinion then another version of Gurdje that is the central text of this new science is to describe the psychological processes that go on when people use sentences the simplest things we must know one can do in the presence of a spoken utterance is to listen. If a listener can hear and match an utterance, the next question to ask is whether he or she will accept it as a sentence in terms of his or her knowledge of grammar. Finally, at a level now almost invisible through the clouds, a listener may believe that an utterance is valid in terms of its relevance to his or her own conduct. So, that's all my explanation. The next material will explain by my friend. Thank you! The integration of psycholinguistic studies has occurred so recently that there is still some confusion concerning escape and purpose. Effort to clarify its version is necessarily have something of the character of personal opinion. Psycholinguistic is interdisciplinary in nature and studies by people in a variety of fields, such as psychology, cognitive science, linguistic, neuroscience, and many more. The main aim of psycholinguistic is to outline and describe the process of producing and comprehend comprehending communication. Two is who think of language as a free and spontaneous intellectual invention are also likely to believe that any animal with a brain sufficiently large to support a high level of intelligence can acquire a language. Thank you very much. My name is Ahmad Dora Bredika and I will continue the material from my friends. Alright, a popular belief regards human language as a more or less free creation of the human intellect. As if its elements were chosen arbitrarily and could be combined into meaningful utterance by any rule that strike our collective fancy. Man is the only animal to have a communal, thoroughly productive 
language. In the jargon of biology, language is a species specific form of behavior. Other animals have signaling systems of various kinds and for various purpose, but only man has evolved this particular and highly improbable form of communication. Those who think of language as a free and spontaneous intellectual invention are also likely to believe that any animal with a brain sufficiently large to support a high level of intelligence can acquire a language. This assumption is demonstrably false. The human brain is not just an app brain enlarged. Its extra size is less important than its different structure. Alright, thank you.